What's up you guys, it's Cody coming back at you with another video from the ADHD Projects channel and in this video we might have quite possibly the biggest announcement I might ever make on this channel. So stick around to find out what that is. All right guys, so before we get into that announcement, today's mod on the 7.3 Power Stroke is going to be, as you guys saw from the title and thumbnail, the updated uh, upper radiator hose, okay? So, uh, I don't know, updated, upgraded, whatever. This is the one that replaces this one that goes through the serpentine belt, and it goes behind the serpentine belt back here, um, which basically is uh, good because if you ever have to change your serpentine belt, you have to remove this uh, radiator hose in order to take that off and put a new one on. Uh, this one eliminates that problem, so that's what we're gonna do today. It was from Riff Raff, uh, so we know it's a quality part, and it was only $18, so super excited to put that on. Now, before we get into that, this is the big announcement, okay? I'm gonna put, if you're not interested in this, if you don't really follow my channel, I mean, if you're watching this video, you should definitely be subscribed and following my channel, but if you're just interested in that, uh, changing that part i'll put down below the time that you can skip to for that but for now big announcement major announcement okay 2020 is going to be a big year for this channel and the truck we're going to make tons of changes to the truck first of all actually this isn't the big announcement a small announcement is i got a small little honda civic car i bought it for a few thousand dollars because there's a lot of mods that I want to do to this truck that I can't because it's my only vehicle and I need it to get to work and stuff. So I couldn't do any major mods to it and the things that I wanted to do to it. Having another car is going to allow me to do major mods to it in case I can't get the job done, obviously in a day to go back to work or I have to drop it off at a shop or something. Now we can do all those things because I bought a little car. Um, so that's huge. We're going to do tons of changes to the truck. The big, big announcement is that I came out with my own apparel brand, or I am coming out with it. It's This is kind of an early release. Uh, this is it right here, no half-ass. Now, I actually trademarked this phrase, so I technically like legally own the phrase uh, as far as putting it on merchandise and stickers and that kind of stuff. So this is the first official no half-ass hat. Um, I got tons more being made so I can start selling them. I also got one beanie made kind of like these are prototypes you know and for me to announce it and start repping it and stuff i got these made but basically this phrase no half ass is just something i kind of try and promote on this channel um i try and you know motivate you guys to work hard and chase your dreams do what you gotta do to uh, achieve your goals and and work hard at it and just don't do things don't do things half ass do things right and just go all in okay so that's a big reason for starting this that's where i got the idea for the phrase but basically guys we're gonna get all kinds of stuff made we're gonna get hats made different types of hats beanies sweatshirts hats uh stickers i want to get one of the big um no half-ass decals on the back window of the truck so you know i could rep it right there on the back of my window at all times no half-ass so if you guys would be interested in any of that in the future you guys can go to my instagram page no half-ass apparel uh no you know no spaces or symbols just no half-ass apparel on instagram there's a link to my website that i even made nothing is available yet like i said so uh, if you click on it you might see some prototype things that are going to be for sale but nothing's for sale at, th at this time but it is january i think 17th or 18th or something um so you know if you're watching this later down the line obviously th this might be an old video check if you're interested it might be already up i might have things for sale so check that out also follow me on my uh, main uh, page adhd projects on instagram and also if any of you guys are going to be interested in this kind of stuff i would actually really appreciate a comment down below letting me know um just so i can kind of get an idea of what i'm getting myself into if uh, anybody is even actually interested in buying some of this kind of merchandise um basically it'll help support the channel so we can keep on making videos keep on making upgrades i invest so much money into making these videos by upgrading my truck for you guys and it's just a side thing right now but eventually you know i want to do a lot of really really big stuff with this channel and this truck and one of the big reasons i got the car like i said is to do more major upgrades to the truck okay one thing i want to do not right away because i just spent some money on the car but pretty soon here i want to get the truck lifted i want to put a 14 inch lift with 40 inch tires uh probably go with 20 inch wheels um since i don't have like my own garage and the tools and stuff that i really need to do that i'm gonna have to get it done for me so that's gonna cost you know like 10 grand to get that done for me with the lift labor tires and wheels and all that stuff give me a little bit of time but definitely stuff i'm gonna do we're gonna upgrade injectors turbo and all that stuff eventually too transmission it's all gonna take time but big things for the channel coming in 2020 merchandise coming soon if you guys are interested again let me know down below i'd appreciate it 
And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and get into installing the upper radiator hose. And also don't forget to like, comment, and again, subscribe if you're not already. All right, guys, first thing you're gonna wanna do, as always, is disconnect your batteries. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we have, we have uh, um, some channel locks and some vice grips that we're gonna use for the clamps. We'll see which one works better. I'll probably start with the vice grips. Try that out. I think I'm gonna start with the channel locks. Um, I'm sure some coolant is gonna come out, but this is the high end, so hopefully it shouldn't be too much, and I do have some coolant to replace it. Uh, we have a bucket underneath to at least try and catch as much as we can. Squeeze the clamp. Yeah, channel locks work good. Channel locks work great. Got the clamp right off. Of course, the truck is cold. Let's go over that real quick, you guys. Of course, you always want to do this when the truck is cold. You do not want to do this after driving the truck with hot coolant. Um, you can always check your pressure by squeezing this. If your um, truck is hot and your coolant is expanded, um, this will be firm and it'll be warm. So you could check that, um, but the truck hasn't been driven. Uh, so it's nice and cold, so we're okay. Go ahead and pull this off. I don't see any coolant coming out yet, so maybe it won't be too much, too bad. Yeah, there's some coolant. Going right in the bucket. Got it perfect. I'm gonna move it forward a little bit, so not completely perfect. All right. Bucket is in place. Now, of course, you can drain your coolant from the bottom. Uh, you have that drain valve, but I don't wanna drain all my coolant or a lot of it. Just let enough come out that, you know, we can make the change um, and then you can replace it. Like I said, it's going in the bucket. So the coolant seems to just keep on coming and coming and coming. I'm not sure why. So we're gonna go ahead and just try and get this in there nice and quick. I put the hose up higher now so it's not leaking anymore until we take this bottom side off. It'll probably leak some more then. The bottom clamp is definitely trickier to get to. All right, we got it off. Let's just slid it up. Now, here's what I'm gonna do actually right now. I'm gonna take this clamp off and get it on the new radiator hose so we're ready with that. So we don't waste too much time with this off because I think it's gonna leak from down there when I take the bottom side off. We're gonna put this on the new radiator hose. Have that ready. Maybe I can get the other one off too, but I'll just do it after. got our old one off coolant is leaking coming out so try and get it on pretty quick here yeah there we go Nice and easy. Beautiful. Much better. Ugh. Let's get those clamps in the right position. Now that we made a huge mess, we are done. <laughs> Bottom clamp is pretty much set. Gloves don't really do much when this happens. <laughs> and that's it. Like I said, now that we made a huge mess, we're done. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It was pretty easy. Now that bottom one was definitely a lot more difficult to get to. Uh, not to get to it, but to get it out. There was a lot of like crusty stuff in there. It was, it was kind of like almost glued on with the crusty stuff inside. So I used some um, picks and scribes, picks, whatever 
you call them. Uh, luckily I have these already. And I had to get it underneath the hose and kind of pry the hose um, away from this piece, which I think is a thermostat, a thermostat housing. But I had to pry the hose away from it and you could hear the crusty stuff kind of breaking. And then really had to play with it. And then the old one was here. Once I could kind of twist it, it kind of broke free from everything. I could pull it out. So that one was kind of difficult, but not that bad. I already washed, um, used uh, the the hose to wash away most of the coolant with water. Just, uh, you know, rinsed it real quick. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Now it's behind the serpentine belt. And uh, we won't have to worry about that in the future. By the way, of course, don't forget to check your coolant level. We did lose pretty much all of our coolant in our uh, coolant reservoir. So I'll uh, go ahead and... Make sure you fill that back up to the proper level. Uh, this is a cold fill, so again, the truck should be cold already. Fill it up uh, in between your minimum and maximum, and uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and do right now, and uh, you'll be good to go. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, big things to come this year. I'm super excited to see what this year holds. Um, hopefully the channel grows exponentially. Like I said in some previous videos, you guys, we're trying to hit 3,000 subscribers before the end of January. January 29th is one year of making YouTube videos. I'm trying to hit that 3,000 mark. So again, if you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the upgrade. Um, that's pretty much it. Catch you guys on the next video.